This is the first uh, Falcon 9 uh, return of the first uh, stage. Something I always look at, uh, I always try to catch the, the landing of the first stage. This time it doesn't uh, l uh, launch on a uh, land on a barge, but really on the on a, on the land near the landing pad. So it's nice to see the the first uh, stage landing on, on, on solid ground, and it's always uh, 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 ensured for nice pictures. Also the pictures and the the. The view of the, the landing is getting better and better. They are using on the barges now uh, Starlings, and uh, you will see also with this uh, landing, it, uh, it is uh, high quality, and uh, you can very nicely see how it is landing and how the system works. So I want to share this with the beginning of the year. After that, I will talk uh, on the big camera. Let's, let's enjoy this moment. This is a, a transport uh, uh, six mission. You can see that the grid fins have deployed on the first stage. We've got four of these hypersonic grid fins near the top of the stage. And uh, once we get into the thicker parts of the atmosphere, it's only the grid fins that do the steering. So the grid fins, do you see those uh, those metal uh, mesh uh, things? They are used for steering because they're supersonic. They are very heavy. Uh, also, the the new, the new uh, rocket, uh, the Starship has uh, these for the first stage. They are very big and very heavy. They are uh, maybe one of the heaviest parts of the of the spaceship. Okay, we are almost uh, getting close to the to the ground. It is around 60 kilometers now. You will see that we go faster and faster. Now they are uh, doing the landing burn. It uses one uh, engine for this. Pretty quick burn. This one will last about 20 or so seconds. So around 20 seconds landing burn. They will switch the camera to the fixed camera on the ground, so you can see the, the first stage uh, from the ground. Oh, this is a re-entry burn, not the real. Uh, you can see the you can see the ground getting closer and closer. <laughs> Area, you may hear some sonic booms. Stage one FTS. Oh, yeah, sonic booms. You will also hear. I think you double. We are attempting to recover this booster for the 15th time today. This is the 15th time that landing, it will be recovered. We got just one more burn, which is the landing burn. The landing burn is coming soon. We'll you will see that from another view angle from the camera. That'll happen. Uh, ah, there it is. You can see uh, above me. Stage one transonic. There is the the first stage. You will see the middle uh, middle engine will burn, kicks in. You see also nicely the the, the grid the grid fins on the top. All the coloring from the re-entry is getting suit on it. You see the grid fins still a little bit shaking because it's all automated. This and there it goes. The legs will be deployed. Yes. And there it is. So, let's switch to the bigger camera and talk about uh, I think everything in for this year. Successful landing. Yes, it. Hello, this is Understanding Elon Musk. Uh, maybe you have seen it. I do more news about uh, the stock, uh, this, the Tesla stock. Uh, I tried to do something about Twitter, so Twitter news, and then I forgot a little bit about the normal talk about how I see uh, Elon Musk, but I will uh, catch up with that. I also want to talk more about businesses, uh, so maybe business ideas for, for Elon Musk uh, to change, and also what he is uh, probably thinking. Also to understand uh, Elon Musk better, I want to dive uh, deep dive in the, the methods he uses and look at uh, where it comes from, and who other people that are using it. Uh, I'm also writing books, uh, so I'm at Amazon, uh, I'm writing Kindle books. Uh, my idea is to do the Kindle uh, special edition so everybody who has a Prime membership can read them for free. Uh, I only ask for uh, the minimum price, two or three dollars. Uh, those are various uh, subjects. 
from uh, AI, from databases to uh, warehouses to solar panels to all kinds of uh, engineering uh, subjects. So maybe interesting to look at it. Uh, also space agencies, of course. So I also, if you've seen the the video here in front of this, was about the landing of one of the uh, Falcon 9s. And I hope we will see much, much more news about space. I hope uh, Starship will be launched uh, as soon as possible in orbit and that he can launch his uh, Starlink with that. I also hope that the Starlink will be improved. Uh, I still hope that he will build together with, uh, with Oracle some database in, the, in, in, in outer space where he can store uh, uh, data, like a data warehouse in, in space for f movies or for other stuff. I think that is a very interesting idea. Also uh, use cameras and he can monitor the, wor the world from uh, out of space with his, uh, with his uh, Starlinks uh, because that information can be used for aquaculture, also for traf traffic control and other, other things that uh, are needed for uh, observing the, the world. Uh, of course not in a bad way but in a good way, for example oil spills, uh, populations of animals uh, and other uh, stuff that can be uh, very uh, useful and if he has so much uh, of those uh, satellites uh, they can be monitored uh, in, for example in Africa much more about what's going exactly on with species uh, of uh, for example elephants or giraffes or antelopes so they can uh, monitor them better uh, because we are, we are also animals and uh, I think we have to take care better of the animals on the planet also, it will be uh, very interesting for, to see the jungles and for wood and for uh, maybe you can do, uh, uh, see what is maybe a little bit under the ground for uh, the, the previous ancient uh, civilizations. Maybe they can observe with star, uh, Starlink, uh, maybe add some loda of something on it on some of the, of, of the satellites. So there are a lot of things you can uh, add a uh, tool on top of this uh, Starlink platform. Uh, maybe for defense or for other uh, businesses it is, will be interesting so uh, maybe that's also a good idea and I think he has to spend a little bit more in space uh, cars uh, please uh, get a CEO for Twitter also get a CEO uh, let it be run by somebody else because I think that there is innovation of course in cars but I think there is more in, in, uh, innovation needed uh, for example with solar uh, solar panels are, 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 are looking to be sleeping and we need to push an innovation there uh, make them uh, like stickers on, on, uh, on buildings uh, make them cheaper make them easier to produce don't use cobalt uh, because there are uh, listen to the uh, Joe Rogan the podcast about co cobalt mining uh, use maybe salts or other material that are easy available for poor countries and make them maybe not that they are high efficient but maybe very low efficient but still they can uh, make enough energy to to power a whole country or a whole village, and I think that's more important than a high uh, an high efficient solar uh, solar panel is maybe a low uh, efficient solar panel, but made from the the ore and the material around the place where you built it, and make also these factories portable in sea containers with some robots that will automatically build those uh, panels and maybe also place them. So there's a lot of work to do. And I hope he can focus on that 